So I often get asked, why can't I get an electric Jetta that does 3,000, 4,000 PSI and you know, five, 10 gallons a minute so I can get some serious jetting done? And the answer is you can. The trouble is it's gonna to have to run off 220 volts or even maybe 460 volts. What do I mean 220 volts? I mean, like if you're gonna run that in a residence, you'd be having to run off the plug for their dryer or for their stove. And that's just really not very convenient for sake of jetting. And even in that, it probably will only give you the amps to maybe double the output of this. Um, to give you an idea of amps, just a five gallon a minute, 3000 PSI jetter would be 10 horsepower. And in that, that's gonna draw at 220 volts, about 25 amps. Now that's only five gallons a minute, 3000 PSI. If you did 10 gallons a minute, it would be double that. So it gives you an idea of why there aren't really a bunch of 220 volt electric jetters out there. Now, we have done a number of them for industry. Um, we've done a eight gallon a minute, 3000 PSI several times, uh, 10 gallons a minute, 4000 PSI. We even recently did uh, one that did 5000 PSI at I think 10 gallons a minute. But these ran off 460 volts. They're for industrial applications where they have that kind of power. And you're really just not gonna run into that kind of power availability in your typical commercial building or residence. So again, that's why 99% of electric jetters out there that you'll see are gonna run up 115 volts and be in the 1500 PSI range.